young man came to him and he said, Papa, I have asthma. And Benson said, Neil. He said, open your mouth. And he blew in his mouth and he slapped him. Pow! Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video. And it's still your brother, brother Joshua here. And in today's video guys, the man, um, I'm here with the man of God, Pastor Benny Hinn. And he's going to be telling us a very, very, um, you know, funny and uh, important um, story today. Alright, about the man of God, the Archbishop Benson Idahosa, and while he was in Nigeria, and how he, he, he will be mentioning several ministers of um, even in today, a person of um, Ad, uh, Oyedepo, Adeboye, all of them. Alright, in this particular story, this is very inspiring and very, very funny, guys. You gotta listen to this, and how he actually, you know, went to preach in Nepal and, and how he escaped it. So, um so, um, before we dive into the video guys um for those of you coming very newly to my channel if this is your first time on my channel just kindly the subscribe button subscribe to um this channel and then if you have not yet liked the video please kindly the like button like to this video guys now i'd like you to watch this story and then let me know what has blessed you in the comment section guys i'll be right back just immediately after this um story watch this guys and i'll be right back I was not a giver in church. I, I only gave when I felt like it. It was a mighty man of God, that dear man from Scotland. He said, Benny, why do you not give? Are, are you not a tither? I said, this is none of your business, I said to him. Between God and I, and he walked away sad. When Roy challenged me, I said, well, it's, be, it's between God and I. I did the same thing. I didn't you know, tell him to go away because he was about to be my father-in-law. But I said, it's between God and me. It's not your business. He said, listen here. You're about to be my son-in-law. It's between God, you and I. And he was pushy. He pushed me into it. I've been there. I've, I've had more troubles with money than you've ever had in your life. Bonky came to me. Challenged me to give him a million dollars for Nigeria. That was before I had any meetings in Nigeria. Big meetings, I should say. Yeah, I came to Nigeria with Benson in a, in a house back in the 80s. For two weeks I was here. Two weeks. I ate Chinese food every night. Benson fed me Chinese food every night. And he would take it with his hand, say, eat, eat, eat. That man was something else. Two weeks I was in Kaduna. I was in Ibadan. I was in Lagos here, two weeks, but I saw the man of God do something I've never seen in my life. He was powerful. I don't know how many of you, of course, you've heard of Benton et al. So, right? We are in a phone center one time where you used to make calls with the plugs, you know, in the wall. So we had to wait for the lines. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'm sitting next to him wearing a Nigerian robe. He gave me a robe every day. I looked like, uh, like the Pope. And on the platforms, I was so hot, I did this. My own air conditioning. It was hot in Ibadan and Kaduna up there. And here too in Lagos. And, I, and I'll be on the platform doing this. Too bad you are not there to see me. I'll never forget. We're sitting at this phone center place. We waited for two hours for the lines to come. That was before all the new stuff we have today. And a young man came to him and he said, Papa, I have asthma. And Benson said, Neil. And the man knelt. He said, open your mouth. And he blew in his mouth. And he slapped him. Pow! I never saw a man slap another man in all my life. And when he slapped him, he slapped the asthma right out of him. That man was healed of asthma when, when Benson said, be healed. Wham! He smacked him like that. How I wish I could smack people now, but I can't. Well, Benson did it. Why not? No, not today. You can't do that. I saw miracles with Benson in Hausa. Powerful miracles. Dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord. Oral Roberts told me that when he was with him, it was the dry season. 
and they were asking for rain. And Benson said to Oral, it will rain in two hours, and it did. I will never forget flying from Lagos to Kaduna up there. The plane was packed. Nobody knew we were coming. And we show up at the airport here. And dear Benson kicked all the passengers out of the plane. He went up and told the pilot he's not flying nowhere. And he took the speaker and told them all to leave the plane and they all did. They all walked out. And he gave us the first class cabin without even tickets. Nobody knew we were going to show up. We had no tickets. No tickets. We took the first class cabin. That happened. I was there. And he went down and he was a big land of people. He said, you go, you go, you go, you go. Filled all of coach and then he told everybody else, go home. He went to the party and said, take off. And he took off. I'm thinking, i never seen a man in my life that controlled the airport. I flew on Nigerian airline that day. And Benson was in control of the airline. We show up to Kaduna, and the dear brother that has the big ministry now, uh, Oya Depo, well, there's two of them, Oya Depo and Ada Boye. I get them all mixed up. He was there standing, and I shook hands with all of them. Had an incredible survey, I think it was two nights. In Ibadan, they attacked the platform when they saw the miracles. A hundred thousand people there. And the people ran and jumped on the platform when they saw the power of God. We had to run for our lives. I jumped over the fence and ran to the car, and they ran after me. I've paid my price for Nigeria. <laughs> so now, we ran away. I didn't know how to escape the second night. So Ralph Wilkinson gave me a big, nice gold cross. So I'm wearing my robe, you know, one under and one over. And I'm hot and I'm doing this and the cross was on me. Looked, I looked like the Pope, even better than the Pope. And I'm thinking, dear Lord, how will I control the crowd tonight? If they attack us again, what will I do? I don't want to run away. So I said, oh, I got an idea. I, I called the big bishop. I don't even know his name now. I said, Bishop, come here. So he's a tall man in, in Ibadan. I said, you know, the, uh, the anointing is leaving me and coming on you. <laughs> I took the cross and put it right on him. And I, I said, call that lady up. So one lady came up and I stood behind him and I blew. And she fell. I said, Bishop, that anointing is on you. And they attacked that man. And when I walked off, nobody even said bye. I just left safe and sound. Nobody chased me. I was smart. I was saved that day. I've always loved Nigeria. But I was afraid to come back in case something else happened like that. But Bunky says to me, Benny, I have a crusade in Nigeria. I need a million dollars from you. I said, Reinhardt. I don't have a million dollars. No, he said, you do. He was very forceful. B Ronald Bunky was not easy when it came to money. <laughs> he pushed me to give him the, the million dollars. And I fought it. I didn't want to do it. He was just like Oral, very pushy. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you 300000 Then I'll give you the rest later. We were in debt that week for $10 million. I owe $10 million to the TV stations. Because we were on every secular network in the U.S. and throughout the world. And I didn't have the money. And they were threatening me to go off there because we were using a big agency out of Arizona. That's to buy or whatever. All right, my family, Dave, you have it with the man of God by personal pastor Benny Hinn. Did you hear that story? Oh, my goodness. The man of God, um, the Archbishop Bensley, that was I was a man that dared to do the impossible. He dared to do the the unimaginable. So um, he has said a lot of testimony in today's video concerning the Archbishop Bensley, that was 
and the miracles that you know he experienced while he was with um, the Archbishop Benson Idahosa. All right, now you heard that story where, where he went to preach in a pattern and now he was being pursued <laughs> and now he escaped, all right, not being beaten or, or dead from you know those guys. See, these men of God have really done a lot for the gospel. See, and most times I will tell some Christians, I'll say, Is this the same heaven you're gonna go to? The same heaven that you are even finding it difficult to visit, maybe your, your church member also. So, guys, these men of God have faced a lot, all right, but they kept preaching, preaching the gospel. They have, they have, like what Pastor Benny said, he has been in depth several times. But, you know, with all the things, I know how difficult it is when somebody is in depth. Depth is a very dangerous thing. And when you get into depth, it can destroy your entire life, all right, if God doesn't help you. But he keeps coming out of it and he keeps preaching the gospel. All right. And the testimony about the Archbishop Ben said that was a man. You see how he slapped cancer out of that man. He slapped cancer. Anyways, guys, I'd like you to tell me what has blessed you in today's video in the comment section and for those of you coming very new to my channel just kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe and if you like the video please hit the like button like today's video guys and then i'll see you in my next video bye